Hello there and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm just going to talk a bit about one of my favourite horror movies of all time, which is this one. It's called Vamp. And this film was made in 1986 and was directed by Richard Wenk and it has a great music score by Jonathan Elias and it stars Chris Makepeace, Robert Rusler, D.D. Pfeiffer and Grace Jones. Um, basically, um, the film is uh, about these two uh, college friends, played by Robert Rusler and Chris Makepeace, who, in order to um, like get be successful in the fraternity they're in and stay in it and everything, have to find some strippers to entertain their brothers at the fraternity at college. So they go off on this journey um with this uh, chinese friend of theirs um played by getty watanabe in the search of trying to find some strippers and they're driving around downtown i think it's in la somewhere and uh they go during the day but all of a sudden the car like spins out of control and then when the car stops spinning it's suddenly night time for some reason and then uh, and uh, all of a sudden like they seem to be in like a different world so now that it's dark and everything um the film takes on a different look and um everything is sort of lit with green and pink lighting most of it anyway um it's a really stylized look and it really suits the film well. Anyway, the eventually um, stumble acro across this uh, strip club. Um, and so they think this is the perfect place to find the strippers, obviously. And um, they go in and everything. And then this girl turns up. plays one of the waitresses in the bar. And she keeps waving to, to uh, Chris Makepeace. Because uh, she... You find out later in the film she sort of recognizes him um from his from his past they were at a um party or something playing spin the bottle and she's always had like a crush on him apparently but he doesn't really remember her at first but anyway um throughout the film these two sort of pair up not not in a romantic sense but just pair up during the film um and everything but she, there is some like sort of romance like a romantic thing going on throughout the film which i liked because she's like really interested in him in him and stuff and he's kind of interested in her and what have you and um but anyway the um to put a long story short everybody in the nightclub the strippers the staff everybody turns out to be vampires they turn out to be vampires and uh this makes the film really much more interesting um and there's some gory scenes in the film as well as it be as a horror film but there's a lot of comedy as well in the film uh, some great co comedic touches and stuff and uh, this this carries on throughout the film but but it, it, it it's balanced really well between the comedy and the serious side of the film you can still watch it like it's still lot, sort of a um sort of um still scary in places and stuff and it's got a great atmosphere um so it's a very entertaining film to watch and it's i would say it's like a cult film i don't know if it is a cult film but um it's very very well done you know and it's got like i say great atmosphere and the music score is really good as well by jonathan Elias. he does a great job on the music some orchestral stuff and synthesizer stuff throughout the film on the score um, so I've always been impressed with this film ever since I rented it out years ago on VHS from your local video store, which is no longer there anymore. Well, it's there, but it's not a video store anymore, unfortunately. Um, so um, anyway, there's a lot of um, special features on this Blu-ray. This is the UK version, and it's on the Arrow label, as you can see there. And it's also got a reversible cover. I'll just show you it inside. Um, 
this is the cover I chose to put on because I like this cover the best. I like this one the best out of all the covers that's supplied with it. And there's another cover on the back. I don't like how they've put the cover on the back to be honest. But anyway, the proper back are covers on the slipcase. As you can see there with all the special features. If you want you can pause that and hopefully you'll be able to read um, the special features. No have to hold it in that an angle because the lights reflecting off the back with it being so glossy and stuff but hopefully you can see those there and like I say just freeze frame that if you want to read it, all the special features that's on there there's quite a few I remember there's um, an introduction bef before the film starts by uh, Robert Rustler because he's one of the main characters in the film so he talks a bit better about the film and what have you. And there's also a good interview with uh, D.D. Pfeiffer who plays, uh, I forget the character, I forget her name in the film or actually. But anyway, um, there's a good interview with her as she um, remembers the film, you know, from when she was in it and what it was like to work in the After Dark Club or in the movie and stuff. That's the name of the nightclub. The After Dark Club. And um, yeah, like I say, it's a really great film. And I've also got this version of the film as well. So I've got this one and this one. This one's an Italian import. And to be honest, this version's not a patch on this version. Um, the transfer on the Arrow one is very good in the, indeed. The, the only thing I can say that's not so good about it is the fact that there seems to be this sort of sort of weird digital sort of grain effect in some scenes. It looks a bit like, you know, when you get static on a TV that hasn't got an aerial plugged in or any, any um, signal coming in. Like, you know, all the staticky dots flying around. It reminds us a bit of that sort of effect. It's not as bad as that, obviously. It's just slight. I can't uh, I can't describe it any other way. I can't can't think how to describe it, you know. But anyway, this Italian import version has it says it has DTS five point one HD. Hang on a minute. It said it has a uh, DTS audio. I forget, I forget exactly how it's described, but five point one. But when I put it on. And um, the sound was crap. It didn't even sound like it was in 5.1 to be honest. It was like, it seemed to be dialogue coming out of the rear speakers and stuff. So I think it's just a sloppy conversion of some sorts into 5.1. But this is the proper version because this version is only in mono. Which is how the film was originally released I believe. I think it was. Anyway, I'm not sure. Because I, I used to have it on VHS, a rental copy. X rental copy. And I'm sure the sound on that was in stereo. Well, I say I'm sure. I think it was. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, he has the back cover on this one. Got quite a decent back cover, to be honest. But the transfer isn't great on this one either. It's not as good as, as the Arrow version by, by a long shot, you know. And like I say, the sound's terrible on the Italian version. So don't get the Italian version if you're going to buy this. Get the Arrow version. And if you can't find the UK version anymore, I don't know if it's, it's still in print to be honest, I didn't check. But you should be to get the US version, which I think is almost the same. Some of the special features I think are different. But it's, I think it's got a different um, cover on it as well, but you can probably reverse it anyway um, with different covers. And I'll just show you um, inside of this one. Because you get a few extra bits and pieces. You get this little booklet. And the disc got artwork on as well. As you can see there. Some nice artwork. Um, an illustration of Grace Jones and what have you. And you get this um, little booklet inside. It's not very thick. But it's got a few bits and pieces in it. Photographs and uh, um, information about the movie. And the making of it and everything. And this nice picture of... Uh, Grace Jones there, as you can see. Grace Jones is quite a good actor as well, you know, because with her being in the music industry and having made loads of music videos and stuff, 
she obviously had to act in the videos and stuff so she was in perform on stage she did lots of uh, elaborate stage performances you can imagine people like that singers and stuff some of them make quite good actors you know and here's some more the more pictures inside the booklet there's only like four or five pages or something like that it's not not too many but that's the scene where Robert Rustler gets seduced by Grace Jones before he realises that she's actually a vampire. He doesn't realise she's a vampire. He thinks when he sees her on stage doing her act, the striptease, striptease routine, he thinks it's all an act until, until he, until he uh, goes out the back um, backstage at the nightclub and then she seduces him and, and he finds out the hard way that it wasn't an act. It was for real. So... So anyway, that, that's the that's the little booklet booklet, and you also get a poster which is double double sided. I'll try my best to show you it here. So it's folded up. You have to be very careful. You don't rip it when you're unfolding unfolding it. You know, it's not too bad actually. It's um. It hasn't got the, the cover that's on the front that I've used on the front of the Blu-ray, but it's got this one. You can see that there. Very nice uh, artwork. It's not my favourite artwork to use for the cover, like, but it's still not bad nonetheless. And it's got another one on the other side, which for some reason... Um, only has the title in very small print down there. That's what I don't like about this picture, to be honest. I prefer the other side, I think. So there you go, that's the double-sided poster that you get in this version. Like I say, I don't know if you can get this version any longer. And I don't know if you can, I don't know if it's still got the poster and the booklet inside. They might have removed that from the other versions, the, the latest versions, you know. You also get this uh, little catalogue thing showing you um, all the other Arrow titles you can get on Blu-ray and what have you. So that's that. I'll just put these back in here. Right, so um, so that's Vamp. Just trying to think think if I've missed anything missed anything I uh, would like to say about the film. I kinda of talk probably today. I get these days when I just can't seem to string me words together yeah, properly, you know. Uh, and I don't think it's lack of sleep because I slept pretty well. Um so I don't think it's that. Um so anyway, um the transfer, like I say, is very good. It's very sharp, it's very clear. Especially for a film made in 1986. And the sound's also very good for a mono soundtrack. I don't know why they didn't remix it into 5.1 to be honest. It would have been um would have been better, perhaps for your surround system obviously, to have it in a 5.1 surround remix, you know. But you can't have everything, I suppose. And for some reason on the bag of here. It shows you all these different cover, covers, different artwork. Um, uh, well, I haven't opened the. I'll tell you what. I'll take the cover off. I don't remember them being on actually, but oh yeah, it does have all them different covers on. There's the other side of the cover. Not easy getting it without the reflections of the light on it. That's any trouble. So that's um that's them there. That's the same exact same artwork that was just on the poster I showed you, basically. But like I say, I must I much prefer um this cover artwork. It's more more um, effective, I think. And this one that's on the back, that's the cover that was on the um, VHS rental copy that I had. That's the cover I'd had on there, I think. Pretty sure that was the cover. 
So anyway, that's that's the reversible cover. And if you haven't seen Vamp and you do like horror movies, I do highly recommend you watch this. Get a hold of a copy if you can. Because it's a, a really entertaining movie. Um, and it's very atmospheric. Um, very enjoyable film to watch, you know. I would say it's a classic, actually. I don't know whether it is classed as a classic. But uh, in my opinion, it's definitely a horror classic. Comedy horror classic, you know. Um, so, that's... That's Vamp on Blu-ray. This is the Arrow version. Which, which, this is the one I recommend you get a hold of. But if you cannot get a hold of the Arrow version, either on the UK version or the US version, then I suppose you could pick this one up if you're not too fussed about the sound quality. I, actually, there's another thing um, I should mention about this Italian import. The sound, as far as I remember, it was um, very slightly out of synchronization with the people's the actors' mouths. Um, if you don't know what that means, it means when people speak, the words are not not fully in line with what they're saying. It's like slightly out of light alignment, you know. I think that I think that's how it was anyway. But this one doesn't have any of that problem as far as I can recall. So anyway, that's vamp on UK Blu-ray and Italian import. So that's pretty much all I've got for you for today. So I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this video. And do, do not hesitate to contact me in the comments below if you've got anything you would like to say. And don't forget to hit, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe of course, um, especially if you're new to my channel. And you, if you would like to see more videos similar to this one. So um, so thanks very much everyone. And if you can, could you possibly share this video? Because um, I could use some more views. I'm not, not getting that many views, um, to be honest. So that would help me a lot if you could do that. So, so thanks very much everyone. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching the video. And then I shall see you on the next one. So... Bye for now. Take care. Ta-ra.